Richie, a big welcome to the club. It's a big challenge here at Leighton Orient, but one I imagine you're excited to get to grips with. Absolutely. I think it's a, a really good football club from the initial conversations that I had with the owners here and Nigel. Um, their vision is, is forward thinking and it wants to improve the club's um, you know, fortunes at the minute. You look at the season after 20 games, it's really good here and, and they're looking to get to League One. Something's obviously gone wrong in the last 15 games, but you know, we'll get to the bottom of it and we, and we try and move forward with some positive football. In terms of Leighton Orient as a club, what in particular attracted you? Um, I think I've always enjoyed bringing my teams here. I think London's a fantastic location in terms of catchment area for, for players. It's fantastic. Um, and I just think there, it's a club that it's underachieving at the moment, so it has potential to improve. Um, and I think that, along with the people above me, the conversations with them were really positive. I think that's a, the biggest thing that attracted me to the club. People above me, and, and then obviously the ambition is club and where it can get to. Mm. I was doing a bit of reading, and, and one of your quotes is that football is 60% ability and 40% um, confidence. Well, at the moment, on the current run, confidence is pretty low. So how do you go about changing that? Yeah, well, if, you, if, if you're the best player in the world, you look at someone like Cristiano Ronaldo at the moment, he's obviously lacking confidence, so it doesn't matter how good your ability is. First and form, foremost, your mind needs to be working right. So we'll be working with the players in terms of improving that confidence, um, but then giving them a belief to go and, go and play. You know, they're all good footballers. They've all you know, had numerous years in the game. So um, we're not going to give too much information too early and overload them. Um, it's all about um, and Matt Harold will play a big part to be honest um, in the next in the next couple of weeks but long term we obviously want to get an, get an identity and I look forward to doing that We know your style of play is something you pride yourself on um, can you summarise exactly um, what you want to see from your teams? Um, well in possession I want to ask the opposition as many questions as possible do they come with us do they track runners do they not um, and out of possession I want the opposition to ask us as least questions as possible um, I like 4-3-3 4-2-3-1 depending on what personnel we've got I like a lot of rotations. I want my players to enjoy the football and feel and have a freedom in the final third to go and express themselves. Um, I don't think I've got a, a set style of play. Um, the only job that I've really had a, really had a lot of time to to get my identity across was at Swindon. Um, I only had you know free transfer windows at that club, and then that helped me a lot. A um, couple of my recent jobs, obviously, I've not had that time to to get my identity across, and it's been more survival football, if you like. Mm. We know you'll know Lawrence Ugaru and, and Tom James and when you worked for them before. So, firstly, what are your thoughts on working with them again? And, and then the squad in general, what, what do you make of the group of players? Well, Viggs has been, I've watched the last five or six games, Viggs has been outstanding, probably overworked at times. Um, obviously, I had him at Swindon and he was in a Chile squad. He was number three for Chile. Um, I have to say, in terms of ability, he's probably too good for this level. Um, and he could be potentially top five in, in League One. Um, so Viggs is someone I'm looking forward to in terms of his, his, his obviously shot saving. He's very, very good. But then also with his feet, we can ask more of him to be to be an extra player for us in terms of building from the back, short and, and clipping balls in. Um, he's very good at And Tom James is... Tom was a little bit unfortunate when I signed him for Salford because things didn't quite work out there. He's a top footballer. He's got fantastic ability. I think early on in the season, he was one of the best players at the club. Um, and I think for a full-back, he has the potential to get six or seven goals and double-figure assists for the season. Unfortunately, he's got a problem at the moment. So um, listen, I think the supporters know that Tom James is a really good football. I've tried to sign him twice, once at Swindon, and then obviously sign him at Salford. So um, both very, very good players. In terms of the rest of the squad as well, have you had the chance to assess that group? Well, obviously, I've, I think we've got a lot of... It's really strange when you look at our goal difference. We, I think we're four points of a relegation. We've got a plus-six goal difference. We've got two strikers who were in the top 10 goal-scoring charts in the league, and we've got Theo Archibald, who's, who's in the top six or seven for assists. So does, something doesn't quite work out. Um, I think we've got a lot, a lot of attacking threat in the, in, the, in, the, in the team. I think we've got some good pace. And um, I'm coming from a team where we had no attacking options to a team that now we have quite a bit of firepower. Um, so I don't think we're, we're going to be struggling for goals especially when we get them rotations right. And I also think that in, in Omar Beckles and Connor Wood, players that have played at a higher level, play for a big club in, in Bradford. Um, I tried to sign Beckles when he was at Shrewsbury. Um, so I, th I think there's a lot of talent across the squad. It's important now that we give them that confidence and that belief to, to bring that, you know, that enjoyment back. Mm. And just finally, it's been a bit of a tough period for the club and on the current run. So what would your message be to the supporters coming in? Have some fun. Football's about fun. Let's rewind back. What was it? Eight months ago, for two years, we were all locked up, not being able to do anything. We are watching football on an iPad or on a, on a TV screen. So come, have some fun, um, buy into what we're trying to do. So I'm not naive with the way that I'm going to play in the next six or seven games. ain't going to be the way that we play long term. 
Um, so I want them to really buy into what we're about. I want them to come to the stadium. We're going to try and improve the match day experience because I came against um, against Stevenage. The match experience wasn't great, um, and the supporters were there. I could I could sense it. Come on, give us something to shout about. We want to in, we want to be included in this game. So um, yeah, we'll give you a lot to shout about, but just bear with us for a little bit of time. Um, and, and we need at the moment we need them more than they need us. And then we'll start, obviously, building things up so we automatically give them something to cheer about. Brilliant. Well, Richie, welcome to the club. Yeah. Thank you very much.